Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. This will be a fun, casual video. Um, it's what's in my bag video. And thank you for anyone who is new here for joining in. And welcome back to everybody that's been returning. And also a big thank you to my subscribers out there. If you do like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And also I appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel so I can continue bringing you more content. And also don't forget to hit those notifications. So for today's video, the bag that I chose for what's in my bag is my Neverfull, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the monogram. So I figured this video would be a great opportunity to give you guys an update for how I've organized my, what I call my Maybelline bag, since the pink is inside the bag. Um, that, you know, how I've organized it, what I carry in this bag when I'm using this bag. So I can also put up the thumbnail or link below the unboxing video to my Neverfull, which you would also go and if you can go and check out, I greatly appreciate it. That was a lot of fun to do that unboxing. So without further ado, let's get into, you know, what's in my bag. Okay, so I'm just going to set the bag right down here on my dresser to show you guys the inside. Uh, I do want to mention that this lovely puffy keychain along with this sparkling like crystal keychain and the little doggy keychain, the little balloon dog, I got from Timu. So if you're looking for some, you know, accessories to accessorize your luxury bags, um, but maybe you don't want to spend, you know, like I know some of these run from Louis Vuitton, like in store, like anywhere from like four to $600 or more. So for right now, I just would with my Timu charms to accessorize my bag. Um, so let's get into the bag. I'm just going to like tip it forward here. You guys can see I'm unhooking the clasp. Sorry, it's like 11 o'clock at night that I'm doing this video, so just bear with me. So this is the inside. I have this organizer that I also got from Timu recently. I didn't know, you know, exactly the dimensions that this Neverfull MM would require. So I kind of took a leap of faith on this bag organizer and it actually it fits pretty well i mean it's a little wonky here and there you know it's not the most perfect thing but honestly it came in within like three days delivery and i needed this organizer right away so i can you know start enjoying start loving my neverfull and start taking it out with me and i didn't want to start using it until i knew i had the organizer to keep my bag you know well organized as well as clean so yeah so that is where I got the organizer from it's a pretty thick felt organizer so yeah let's get into what I have in my bag so I guess the first item I'm gonna pull out here because it's sticking right out is my pair of gloves I mean it's cold here in Pennsylvania so it's only like 40 degrees in the morning, so these gloves come in handy. So that is the first item. Nothing exciting. They're kind of a few years old. They're just driving gloves, texting gloves, but they do their job. So I keep them around for those chilly early or late fall mornings. Okay, and then the next thing I have are my coach sunglasses this is an older pair but i still like to keep them in their compartment to keep them safe so that is my sunglasses although i tend to like rotate out between the coach sunglasses and these are these are my tahari sunglasses which also work i believe i got these at tj maxx maybe two years ago so they they do their job they they come in handy for my driving 
Okay. And the next thing I will have here, I absolutely love this lotion. It's green tea. I actually get this from Amazon, although the nail salon that I used to go to used to give these out for Christmas, but I've now found them on Amazon because I really enjoy this smells amazing so i highly recommend if you're looking you know for a lotion after getting your nails done use this green tea lotion it's really good okay the next item is my planner this i got at barnes and noble earlier in the year and this really helps to keep me organized especially with knowing what i'm going to film next for youtube so I highly recommend picking one of these up. It's a little bit of old schoolness to write things down, but I still really enjoy writing things down in a book as opposed to always, you know, putting it in my phone and setting reminders in my phone. I'd rather just open this up and look in the day-to-day -day things and chores I have to do or errands I have to run. So, and I think... These organizers get pretty pricey though, but you could probably pick one up for a little bit cheaper. But at Barnes and Noble, I want to say this was like maybe like 20 some dollars or $30. I can't remember since I got it in like January. So don't quote me on that one. Okay, the next item I have is this little um, beauty pouch, which I think I got with like a nail file kit. I might have even picked this up in uh, Five Below. So yeah, so just some beauty products that I have in here is my Victoria's Secret lip gloss. I got this maybe like a year or so ago. You know, I don't really use it too often. It's just my on the go lip gloss in case I need to moisturize my lips. And then I have my handy dandy Oh, it's upside down. Rail mirror. So that comes in handy too. In case I need to apply my makeup again. I do also have a concealer in here just in case. And then I also carry some Tylenol with me on the go. I have another lip gloss. This is the Baby Lips by Maybelline, which kind of goes with my bag. <laughs> so yeah, that has a really good smell to it. If you like fruity floral scents. And then I have toenail clippers in here, but I swear I only use them on my fingers. I need to get like a smaller travel size nail clipper, but I keep the toenail ones with me. And then these things, I think, came with this beauty bag. I don't even know really what these things do, but I've just, I've just kept them in there. Oh, and then I have my sparkly tweezers, which are many years old. They were from Avon, I think. And then I have another pair of tweezers, too. Yeah, never thought I'd be showing those on the internet, but here we are. Okay, and then the next item I have is one of my Timu clips. This comes in handy if I want to put my hair up and get it out of the way. And then I have, I'll go, here's my, my Anne Klein wallet. I had it upside down there. This is what I've been used to, using for my cards, my cash, um, coupons for right now. Since with my Neverfull, I haven't yet really used the pouch. Um, since it was barely used to begin with, or like not at all, I just haven't been in the mood to make it, you know, untidy or anything like that. But I did also get from Timu this handy dandy, like, if I can get it out of here, this, I don't want to bring it all out and then I can't get it back in but it's like to protect the inside of the, the Neverfull pouch. Yeah, so that'll come in handy if and when I decide to start using it to put coins in or cash. I mean, I know I will probably eventually start using it. 
It's just the fact that it was like brand new. So, cause I got this bag pre-loved, you know, but this was basically never used. It even still had like the stickers in it and stuff like this. So yeah, somebody who owned this previously never used it. And I'm kind of like keeping in that way. I'm not really using it just yet. So we'll see if I do. And then in this middle pocket here, I don't really have anything yet. I have my Louis Vuitton receipt just so I always know where it's at. And then this organizer came with this like, I don't know, like this extra strap. I'm not really sure what I was supposed to clip on here to the, oh yeah, I guess they have these little, these little rings on the side here. If you want to clip it, I guess, to the pouch or something like that. But I don't even really care for this. The hardware doesn't even match the rest of the gold hardware of the organizer. So as you can see here, I'm not really sure what the whole point was that it didn't match because this is silver and this is gold. kind of hate that, but what are you going to do? So there's really nothing in there. And then I have a pair of glasses, which I need to get a new pair of glasses. These are just really for driving and they're pretty scratched up and awful. So nobody really wants to see that. And then I have a lip gloss in the shade. I think it's called Money from Sephora. This lip gloss is amazing and I want to say they only run like $10. So I highly recommend getting this lip gloss if you want a lot of like shine, especially if you're going out on like date nights or anything like that. This I highly recommend. Love it. And then finally, I just have my AirPods case kind of resting in the back there. I don't really have a fancy case. This is like from Target. I, yeah, I got it at Target for like $9.99 because my other case broke over the summer. So, but this has worked out really well because it's, it's gold and it matches the Neverfull and the organizer really nicely. So I'm going to stick with this case for a little bit. But yeah, that is so far it, what I have in my Neverfull. Sorry, I had to readjust since my scarf that I had down here on the dresser just kind of flew off the dresser. So I do want to just like turn around the bag and show you. I keep my hand sanitizer on the other side. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's rose water and ivy. So I really like the scent of it. And I just have it, you know, attached right there. Um, but to, you know, we can look in the inside here without the organizer. There's, you know, the classic Louis Vuitton. And then opening it up here. I don't have anything in there. And this pocket was never used either, so I doubt. I'm going to keep it as clean as possible and not really use these interior pockets since I have the organizer. And this is what the other side of it looks like. Yep. So, yeah, I don't have anything else on these other pockets, I don't think. So that is everything. Okay, so that's going to do it for what's in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. So if you did enjoy this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And then also you are welcome to subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate all the subscribers out there. So I can continue doing what I'm doing. I really love to put out more purse videos on this channel. I know the purse lovers out there do love to see the purse videos as I do read all the comments below. Make sure to leave me a comment below and I will personally respond back to you. And make sure to, you know, hit those notification bells so you're notified of my next video. So I will see you guys later. Have a great day. So bye guys.